Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. The AFS Connect Farm Management System from Case IH connects you and only you to the information you need most from your equipment from anywhere at any time. AFS Connect, only from Case IH. How deep is too deep with herbicide incorporation? Depending on which pre-emerge residual herbicide you're using, the depth of your tillage to work the herbicide into the soil needs to vary. For example, when you look at pre-emerge herbicides typically used for corn, like Outlook, Dual, Harness, and Surpass, they're all group 15s and shoot inhibitors. What that means is they're going to attack the weeds above where the seed germinates in the soil rather than below. Since most grass weeds germinate in the top half to one inch of soil, for effective weed control, you need to keep the herbicide as concentrated as possible in that top inch. Tillage often moves herbicides about half the depth of the tillage tool, so if you're working the ground at a 2 to 3 inch depth, you're moving most of the herbicide down an inch to an inch and a half. Other herbicides like Treflan and Sonlan, for example, are root inhibitors and can be buried a little deeper in the soil in order to concentrate in the root zone of the weeds that they're intended to stop. Add to that the fact that both of these products have a higher level of volatility risk, and the recommendation is to spray them out at the same time you're tilling them in to minimize any potential loss. Often we're tilling the ground at a 4 to 5 inch maximum depth with these products on our farm. If you're applying pre-emerge herbicides this spring, check with your agronomist about each of the products you'll be using. Where do they actually kill the weeds? And is there a volatility risk? And how deep is too deep for incorporation if you really want them to work 100%? It's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show. <laughs> 